Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, you know, as we wa talk about um, Windows and Mac OS and so on, uh, one operating, operating system that we talk about regularly um, and that a lot of people are fans of, um, obviously, by the comments, is Linux. And Linux actually is uh, very interesting because it um, is something that is an open source operating system, which is something nice. An open source system means that, you know, it's free. It means that you can uh, actually install it on, on most devices today. There's versions for everything. And um, it actually was released 32 years ago this week. So this is pretty amazing. So... Um, that definitely, I think, surprised uh, Linus Torvalds, which is the guy behind the first Linux creation that he actually uh, put online. He was 21 years old when he released this as an experiment. And, of course, he never thought that that would take on, really. So that was in August of 1991. Um, what has happened uh, since then? Well... It grew into a community of users. It grew into something that is nice. And I definitely, you know, I get a lot of people saying, well, you're just Windows or whatever. It's, no, I do play around with some Linux distros and I like that. And we have, you know, some people mention it. A lot of the underlying code between some systems like Android are Linux code, basically. So um, it has grown into something interesting. Um, where it stayed rather low in usage and static has always been the desktop PC. But you know what? One of the things that is interesting in the statistics for Linux, uh, Linux sorry, is the fact that it reached almost 2% on the Steam operating system list. When you look at the market share of the systems, uh, it actually is higher than Mac OS for gamers. And two things in here... If there would be a easy way to go gaming on Linux, of course, uh, the, the gamers are always the ones that are more inclined to experiment with things. And actually, one of the, the, the things that we see this month uh, that we uh, Steam has released numbers saying that 37% of its gamers were on Windows 11. That's much higher than the average population and shows where... Gamers often have more advanced hardware and are, once again, more inclined to go into other directions with the systems. Uh, but one of the main reasons for the numbers and steam of around 2% in climbing is probably the popularity of Valve's Steam Deck. Steam Deck being basically a gaming machine that is based on Linux. And this, of course... Uh, if it continues to have its popularity, it might actually, on the gaming side at least, boost the numbers for Linux, that's for sure. So uh, that is interesting to see. Of course, lots of different distros of Linux out there that are available. And um, I told you guys that I will eventually be showing some of them. And I will actually start this week um, you know, downloading and, and playing around with some of the distros and doing quick you know, looks and reviews for those that are interested. And uh, as I will be mixing more and more of everything tech in here, uh, not just Windows, everything tech will play in here. It's, it, we're, we're more of a general channel than even though we're very focused on Windows. There'll be more than Windows here. So uh, kind of cool, 32 years and uh, Linux and still going strong. And... Uh, you know, these are. This is one of the things that that needs to continue. That's for sure. Uh, we need an open source operating system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.